Everyone knows that a mandatory part of a modern housing is a water supply. Recently, the only attributes of plumbing equipment in the apartments were a couple of faucets, shower and a toilet with a drain tank. But as they say, progress doesn't stay still. Anyone wants to live more comfortable and make the most of the benefits of civilization. With the invention of dishwashers, washing machines, showers with huge watering cans, we began to spend more water. That's why all this great variety of equipment requires high quality and well thought out water supply scheme. In this series of several video blogs, we will talk about the scheme of the water supply and the devices themselves that ensure the normal operation of sanitary equipment. Water supply inlet assembly Water supply starts from the risers of hot and cold water supply. Each riser has a tap. The first after tap is a root valve. Valves can be of different types – valve type, ball type and even electrical type. However, if we take into account the set of rules on internal water supply and sewerage from 2016, which states that the design of water and shadow of valves should ensure a smooth opening and closing of the water flow, it turns out that a conventional ball valve in the role of indigenous can be used with a slight stretch because it has very fast movement of opening and closing. There occurs a probability of water impact in the water system. Therefore, when the management company or HO set clear requirements and refer to the joint venture, you can use locking devices with smooth opening and closing, such as for example the company Walte, which offers a modified ball valve with a built-in planetary reducer, or for example a ball valve with an electric drive, which also provides a smooth overlap and opening of the flow, and of course these criteria are absolutely suitable for valve or shutoff valve, which have a lower cost compared with an electrical ball valve. But in reality, as practice shows, most still set an ordinary ball valve to which, in principle, in everyday life there are no questions from the regulatory authorities. After the stop valve's installation, we install a filter, so-called SAMP. There are different versions of filters – straight, oblique, as well as combined with valves. Installation of the last variant in the responsible area is not desirable. It should be understood that in case of, for example, a ball valve breakage happening in this node, you still have to change the entire device. Separate units are more universal, so can be replaced quickly and without any problems. The best option is a straight or oblique filter. The diameter of the grid cells of a such filter usually ranges from 300 to 600 microns, although you can find smaller. For reference, the thickness of a human hair varies from 40 to 120 microns. Accordingly, such filter can catch only large enough particles that can stop or damage the mechanism of the water meter or check valve. It's necessary to know that the installation of devices with flush fittings in front of the meter can cause difficulties when setting the meter on the account. Since all of the recent holes located in front of water meter should have the opportunity to seal this applies to the clean-out tube oblique filter. The body of the oblique filter is not large, so installing an excessively fine mesh in it will definitely lead to the need for frequent opening and cleaning. If you don't want to become a regular customer of service organization and eliminate frequent situations when you have to contact them because of the weak pressure in the water supply, the cause of which may be a clogging of the grid oblique filter. It would be much more rational to set the grid with a maximum diameter of cells that will not be instantly clogged. As they say, the meter is protected and the owner made the right decision. Water measuring devices are installed after the oblique filter. When installing meters, it's necessary to take into account the mandatory conditions, 
In particular, on each side of the meters it's necessary to provide direct sections of pipelines, the length of which is set in accordance with the requirements of the passports of the devices themselves. After the counter, a check valve is installed. With this device, the possibility of displacement and mixing of water through your home plumbing back to the risers is being eliminated, in case of the pressure of the power supply change. Some control companies do not accept the meter for operation without a check valve installed in the system. If in water there are small particles that can damage the mechanisms of filters and other machinery, that in principle it is a fairly common phenomenon. After the check valve it is desirable to install a washout filter with a fine mesh. The filter with the possibility of washing is convenient because for its cleaning it's only necessary to discharge water through the washing nozzle. For more efficient washing of the filter a bypass with a tap can be installed so it is possible to wash the grid with water pressure in the opposite direction. For the most part, bypass installation makes sense only in systems with low water quality, where it's necessary to frequently clean the filter from dirt. The filter element in such filter can have a mesh with a cross-section of 20 to 500 microns. Most often there are models with an install grid of 100 microns. The washing filter is cleanable and does not require regular replacements of the filter element. Accordingly, its maintenance is carried out with additional costs. To protect the internal water supply from pressure surges, as well as to balance the pressure difference between cold and hot water, set the differential pressure reducer. Reducer is designed to limit the pressure increase and the outlet in a strictly specified framework. It should be clearly understood that the reducer does not increase the pressure, and if the inlet to it is only one bar at the outlet of the reducer, it's not possible to get more. The task of the reducer is protection from external water hammers and adjustment of the required pressure ceiling at the outlet. In a situation where the water is of poor quality, there is rust or other suspension which is not able to stop the washing filter it is advisable to think about installing a main fine filter. In any case, you need to proceed from the need, and if you are in a new home, take the water for analysis, which will show you a clear picture for the near future. But it is worth remembering that the water in the apartment can change its quality overnight, for example, in the consequence of repairs of water supply in the house or replacement of main pipes on the street. Adding the same additional devices in the input node after its installation may no longer be possible or be implemented in a sufficiently unsightly form. If the apartment has different points of water, the question how to connect them arises. In the bathroom there is a shower and a faucet in the sink, toilet cistern in the closet. In the kitchen, there is a mixer and dishwasher and a washing machine. Water can be brought to the points in two ways, in series or through the collector. Sequential wiring of water supply To a certain point of time, a serial or as it is also called a T-tube wiring was usually used. Now this option does not lose its popularity. Sequential wiring of water pipes implies the presence of only two branches, hot and cold water, and to divert them to the point of water separation, T's are cut into them. This method has both advantages and disadvantages. The main advantages are cost savings due to materials, because you need to lay only two branches. Again, this water system doesn't require a lot of space and is easy to be installed. The disadvantage of this water supply is a large number of connections that increases the likelihood of leaks, as well as the impossibility of flush mounting in the case of split fittings. Also in this system, in case of the mixer tap bashing replacement or for any other reason, there is no possibility in the introductory node to turn off only one point of consumption. 
it is necessary to block all water supply. Sequential system is perfectly justified in areas where everything is close and there are not so many points of water separation. The collector system of water wiring. The system implies the presence of a collector for cold and hot water at the water supply inlet. The collector is a pipe with successive bands of smaller diameter. Valves or ball valves can be installed on the bands. The essence of the collector is that it's a distributor from which a separate branch is carried out to each point of water collection with a smaller diameter of pipes. The advantages of such system are obvious. It is possible to adjust or disable each consumer individually, and the number of connections is reduced during installation. The main disadvantage of such system is its high cost associated with the purchase of a collector and a large number of pipes. Another disadvantage is the bulkiness of the system itself, and therefore sometimes it's impossible to hide pipes from prying eyes in a strobe or a special box. This system is often used for installation in new buildings, where nothing prevents the pipe's layout and the consumer wants to be able to adjust and disable the points in one place. But the truth is that any equipment requires certain conditions for normal operation, and if the pressure of hot or cold water in the risers is low, the installation of the collector may not save the home network from changes, and the funds for the installation of expensive equipment will be wasted. Therefore, before you go and spend money on any equipment, it is desirable to consult with knowledgeable people and discuss the specific examples of your water supply indicators to develop the right decision with him. In the introductory unit equipment with non-return valve, a protection from internal water hammers and thermal expansions of water should be provided. Not everyone knows that even a sharp opening or closing of the mixer leads to water hammers throughout the system. And for example, cold water standing in the internal water supply all night heating up the room temperature significantly expects the... Not everyone knows that even a sharp opening or closing of the mixer leads to water hammers throughout the system and for example, cold water standing in the eternal water supply all night, heating up to room temperature, significantly expands and creates increased pressure in the mains, thereby having an adverse effect on the joints and valves, including electro valves in washing machines and dishwashers. A hydraulic shocks compensator will help to cope with this phenomenon, dampening excess pressures due to the membrane located in the housing. Some will say that in the home water supply water hammers are insignificant and the flexible hose of the washing machine is able to compensate for thermal expansion. This is partly true, but as they say, forewarned is forearmed. A modern water pipeline is a complex engineering system in which everything should be planned and carefully weighted at the planning stage. In this video we have considered the possible options for the necessary equipment of the inland assembly and the options for wiring the pipeline indoors. In future videos I'll try to tell you more about each of the elements of the introductory components separately, with their varieties, the pros and cons. Subscribe to my channel, click the like button and see you soon.